Play to Potential podcast. Uh, man plus machine, advanced chess man plus machine versus man plus machine has actually turned out to be a dead end. Mm-hmm. It's not going anywhere because um, machines have gotten to the point, uh, I'll make this analogy, machines have become like incredibly fast cars mm-hmm. uh, and let's say the best chess players are like athletes, which means that the athlete in its best ever moment is not going to be have a slightest chance against a very fast car. Mm-hmm. Now imagine that advanced chess once upon a time was um, um, two athletes getting into their cars, being able to use their car and being able to intervene themselves when they felt it would help. Mm. Now this would only work if your fuel was insufficient for the entire ride and a certain portion had to be uh, driven. Mm. Um, and what happens now is that um, man plus machine versus man plus machine is just often machine versus machine. There's very little it's very hard to know when your intervention is better than the machine. Mm. And it's so infrequent that it's uh, it's hard to pick out. And the other, the point is, you may decide that your intervention is crucial. But if your rival is still using the machine, then you have to be sure that your, your human touch is not worse than what it's going to do. So that has turned out to be a dead end. However, chess has become spectacularly enriched mm-hmm. by our ability to work with the machine at home and combine its ability to throw up unusual patterns, unusual ideas. I mean, one of the things that's forgotten sometimes is how rich chess seems now because the machine has shown us how many things we had rejected which turned out to be possible. Very interesting. And how how many areas we thought were closed forever have opened up again. Um, I mean, if, if the machine is guilty of closing doors, it's uh, responsible for opening far more doors than it's closed. And right now, it's a golden time in terms of... Um, how rich the game seems. And the other thing it's done is it's made chess accessible to everyone because if anyone has the world's best coach, if a slightly not very expressive one, uh, then every person on the planet has the world's best coach available uh, for a price. And that means that once you know how to ask the right questions, you can get the right answers and you can grow. So the learning process has become incredibly interesting. But unfortunately, advanced chess itself has turned out to be a dead end.